All right, let's jump into some stratagems. I'll tell you the definitive guide to all of them. There is no room for error. This isn't subjective. This is 100% objective. If you disagree, you are wrong, okay? So let's start uh, with the uh, guns that you can call in. Machine gun, pretty good. Um, it requires a stationary reload. However, there is a way around this if you have the jetpack. And you jetpack and you start your reload, you'll start the reload in the air. And as you land, you'll be about halfway done. And that's a really good way to kind of skip around with this thing. Because this is, uh, comparatively to the stalwart, a little bit better in terms of heavy damage. Does it show? No, it doesn't. But it does chew. Um, stalwart, you can actually uh, move around and reload, which is really good for those mobility users like myself. I actually prefer this to this one. Although once I discovered with the jetpack, you could fly and reload. It's, it's pretty decent. Anti-material rifle. Looks cool. Uh, performs okay. This is the wrong enemy type to be using these on, in my opinion. Um, typically, if you're sniping from far away, bugs just come up out of the uh, out of the ground, no problem, and they replenish their numbers uh, very easily. Um, and they kind of dart around, and they're of different heights. You know, these little guys, you got these guys and the tall ones. It's hard to kind of land shots. You'll find some even as you're kind of scanning and you do your quick shots, they won't always hit, and you can't really tell if it's because the reticle hasn't caught up to the actual where it's going to hit. See how it's like taking a little bit of time with the bloom? like pop and then it goes back down right here. If you're trying to move until it goes back to center, it doesn't always hit as well as you'd like. However, with robots, yeah, these guys, this is perfect because it gets their weak points and it, and it pierces medium armor, which is really, really good. Stalwart just went over it. It's kind of a lighter machine gun, I would say. You can move around with it. Pretty good for clearing chaff. This is more uh, solve all your problems, but I don't like the stationary reload. I wouldn't take this without a jetpack. Eats. Um, and I just found out the Eat 7. Someone else said the Elite Speak is Eat It. So that's pretty cool. Expendable anti-tank, you'll never go wrong with these. This is one of those, like, if you have a, a free slot and you need something, this is a great team weapon. It pops two up. It's awesome. It, it It's really fast. Yeah, it's like a little over a minute to get it back. It's You can just spam these, and they're really, really great. Um, you can throw them off your back. You do wish sometimes that you had more. Uh, generally, one isn't enough to kill, like, the big stuff you need. It's two, so you got to coordinate, but it's still really, really good. Recoilless rifle. If someone's doing this, it's pretty sick. Uh, until they fix that, where, like, anyone can help you reload and not someone with the actual backpack. See how he's wearing it? It's weird. This person is out of the fight. It's taking up a backpack slot on him, and it's letting one person fire a little faster. It's very niche. I don't think this is the right way to do it. I think they thought it would be cool, and it is, but this guy needs to be able to reload this guy whenever and just pull it out of his back and, and throw it in. This is really good, though. If you hit your headshots, it's two-shot on most big guys, bile titans and stuff. You can uh, break armor open so other people can hit it. Um, it comes with, uh, I think, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. Five extra rounds, which is good, but the reload time is, is long. Um, I haven't tried it with the jetpack reload, but I'm assuming it's the same as a machine gun, so you might be able to do that. Flamethrower uh, is awesome to look at. It does a lot of damage. It does a shit ton more than it used to after it got buffed as of uh, 328, 24, which is today. A um, lot of opportunity for things to run up on you and catch you on fire. Um, I don't like this gun, actually. It's super fun to use. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love flamethrowers. Who wouldn't? But in terms of, like, um, practical use and with teammates, you're going to burn your teammates. They're going to get set on fire. They're going to be going through sims. You're absolutely going to get burned at least once. If you run it for an entire time, you're going to get burned up. Um, maybe if there's a uh, an armor that's resistant to flames, that might be pretty cool. Um, but typically, you're, you're doing some uh, standard damage or, like... Um, Static damage, and it's the the burning over time that really does the work for you. So it doesn't necessarily stagger or push these back. They'll still keep pushing in. And with a large enough crowd, if you're not spraying enough, these guys close the distance and start whacking you up. And I don't, I just, there's better weapons. Shotguns, I mean, if you're trying to get up close and personal, get a shotgun. It's just cool, but like, this is a heavy weapon slot. So I just, I don't like it, even though I love it, if that makes sense. Um, just not for me. Auto cannon's good in both cases. It's especially good in this scenario. I've never had someone be an auto loader for that, but I imagine you could just spam fire it, and that's kind of cool. I wonder if you can crouch while they help. I don't know. This is a robot killer. This is probably your weapon to take if you're going on a robot mission. You don't know what it's about, what you're into. You're just dropping in. People will always appreciate this because it does exactly this. It just fucking cooks robots. It's really, really good. Really, really generous magazine uh, capacity. You know, each of these is five shots. So you're talking a shit ton of shots, and these get replenished with ammo. So great, great weapon. I would absolutely put it up there. Have a machine gun. This just unlocked. I just took this out into the field. It does a shit ton of damage. The magazine is much smaller than you think it would be, but maybe it's because it's really large rounds in there. This thing will blow up shit. If you get behind a tank, it'll blow it up in like five seconds if you shoot the vents. Same with most things. I tested it. I'll put out a video on that. But really good. This, I... He's using it to clear chaff, and I just don't understand that. Um, unless it's got blow through, which I don't think it... No, it does, doesn't seem to. Um, you won't see any reticle, 
uh, unless you're ADSing, I found, um, you'll blast, you can kind of start shooting and see, uh, drag it down and see where it's firing. Um, I think this is going to need a little love unless it's got some weird niche. It just came out, so I could be wrong on that. I took it out. I ran it under some different scenarios, put it against heavy stuff, light stuff. It cooks. It definitely chews, but this thing fires like crazy, and you drain it very fast. And with a magazine like this, you assume it would fire faster. And I was kind of going click, click, and going, what the fuck is going on? Railgun, this is uh, this was the workhorse pony of the early days. It still is. You just got to put it on safe mode. See this charge up? If you go too long, it'll explode and blow you up. Uh, people who aren't paying attention... Boom. Oh, wow. That's really good timing for explaining that. Cool. Uh, this is really good. This pops armor, you know, shoots right through. I typically don't use it. It's a single shot. You got to reload every time. I like being a little more fast and nimble with my shit. Spear, this thing is absolute ass. This is, this is, does not work well. Uh, 328, 24, one day it will, I'm sure. And this again needs to be fixed. Don't do this. If, if this ever gets to anyone that has, take this away. Put this on him and lot, let anyone running up help him reload. This is totally a waste of time, and you can't you can't be doing this on the harder difficulties like seven and above. You're gonna get rushed down. These, uh, the primary reason this sucks is this does not lock on. It's very very um, unreliable. You'll get some shots that line up, and you'll have some that go green and then go yellow. You'll have some that yellow it, it like uh, magnifies and then backs off. And you're like, what the fuck? And then someone's like, oh well, it's so you know, if there's something behind you, the blacks back radius back here you need to have clear and i'm like that's ridiculous in a game where you're just constantly moving but two um and again this you can't stay stationary and and three if you're taking this out it's because you have a big target you need to put down because it's putting damage down so this not working some of the time is an absolute detriment i hate it i, I would take an eat over it every time it's cool when you lock on this doesn't one shot things all the time if it hits the right spot it will but sometimes let's see I don't know if these guys are weak or they're switching, and but it takes like two shots on Bile Titans, and if you're two shot, and you might as well bring the Eats or, or the Recoilless, you know? This will be cool. Right now, 328, 24, this thing's shit, and it needs to get fixed and it's broken. I'm sorry to be so harsh, but it's it's angering that something that's meant to take out really big threats does not work, and it limits that, and, and you need options for that. Okay, let's go down the uh, Orville Cannons. These are pretty cool. These aren't affected by um, Jammers, which is nice because they're getting shot from space. Uh, so all of this... This is all blocked by jammers. So when you're going up against robots, just keep that in mind. Uh, Orbital Gatling Barrage. This is just a really quick every, you know, basically minute, but minute and 20 seconds. You can drop these on light. This is fine. Your guns can do this. I don't really see a big need for this. I mean, it's it's really quick response. You can kind of just throw it out there. I don't know. It, there's probably better options is my thing. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. Orbital Air Burst is really good. This is a denial, area denial. See, pop, and then pop. It has multiple waves that keep coming. So when holes break open, these are really good to kind of burst it down and, and break it up. You'll soften things. It's it's as good. Uh, a lot of chaff and stuff. Uh, this is your chaff clearer. Um, 120, this is a really good camp blower upper uh, or bunker buster. You throw this in, it's about this. You can kind of see the radius here. Let's see where it all hits. And this is kind of a camp. It, it's a more localized 380, which I think is way more dangerous. Um, this will... This will get some stuff sometimes. It's really good for just like putting paint on a lot of targets in a small area, obviously. I do like it. I prefer it over this. This is this is how you wipe your team. This is the most ridiculous fucking... It's so inaccurate. I, I think they tightened up the spread a little bit. But look at the, how fucking huge of a swath this is. And if you're working... Look at him. He's up on the hill. If you're working with the team, this is just denying them as much as as the guys, you know? And you're, you're maybe getting some of them. I'm not really sure if it's a great thing, but it's a shock and awe thing. It looks fucking cool as hell, you got to admit. Uh, walking Barrage, this is another dangerous one because it moves down a line, and that's that's kind of scary. If you don't line it up correctly, a lot of these you'll notice too, especially with the ones that move or do in a line. Uh, for example, this one will go out in a horizontal burst from where you throw it. So if you throw it here, it'll go in like a perpendicular line where some of these, like the walking, might be parallel. You know, it might go straight on looks like this one kind of goes. But they either go straight or they go, they make like a wall in front of you. So just bear that in mind. Orbital, anything that's walking with large amounts of artillery, people are moving around, you're going to blow them up. This isn't very good. It's it's not accurate, I would say. Um, it looks cool. It does look cool, but you won't see people using this very often because you only get so many slots. And in some cases, you get three. You're sure shit not bringing this one. Orbital laser, this is cool. This puts a lot of uh, damage over time. 
Um, it'll cook things. It, it kind of sweeps through, chops everything up. I like this. I've gotten killed by it now and then because, you know, people will come in, it brings a laser with it. And then when it's readjusting targets, like say this dies and it starts going after something behind you, you'll get cooked. But it's cool. It's a good one. I, I, uh, I see a lot of people running it. it it's great. This is probably the S tier <coughs> orbital cannon for me. Um, it's a delete button for big threats, big armor that you can't get through. This this cooks. You get someone else with one as well, and generally someone else on your team is running it. You know, it one shots these, it two shots Bile Titans and some of the bigger ass. It one shots these, which is you know might as well be. I think that's their heaviest unit. Um, really, really good. It's got a long cooldown, uh, but it's not you know uh, prohibitively so. Uh, Two hundred ten seconds. You'll get it here and there, but it, it'll save your bacon. And if you're one of your guys and your team is getting bullied, it's really, really good to throw down. Just pop, and then he can focus on other stuff, and you guys can move on. It's a good disengager. All right, onto the hangar and the uh, the the eagle drops. Strafe. This is another you know eight seconds. You get four uses. I think you get an additional one with the upgrade. Let me just see real quick. Some one of these has five. If I think I saw one. Oh, it's the cluster bomb. Okay, I take that back. So this one's got four. Looks like it goes in a straight line out, which is kind of interesting. Like if you got along, this is very niche though, right? Although I guess most people are approaching you in a straight line. This could be good. I don't know. It's eight seconds isn't bad. Four is is pretty decent. It goes in a straight line. This this is pretty good for light shaft and just giving you some breathing room. Eagle airstrike. This is up there. This is S tier for me. There's there's two on this list, I believe, uh, that are S tier. No, maybe there's just the one. So this is what I put it. This is the most versatile one out of them all. It. it Chops in a fan or a, a wall in front of you, a horizontal wall. Uh, I don't know if it has to do, I think it has to do with how close you are to the uh, sides, uh, determine which direction. But basically, you just kind of line it up in like a fan and you try and place it down where you think things will be. And this will come in, this will kill chaff, it'll put damage on armor, it'll blow up bunkers and stuff and spawners for different items. It's, it's just a skeleton key. It's really, really good. Uh, this is one if you're like, ah, I got to get in there quick. Bring bring an airstrike. It's always useful. It's always good. Cluster bomb. This has five. This looks like it goes in a, a wall instead of a line um, or a horizontal wall. Uh, yeah. And so that that puts a blanket. That kind of, yeah, it looks like it goes right to left. Um, that'll blanket and chop, but it's clearly not blowing up everything. You know, you're going to miss some stuff, but it, it'll clear chaff and shit. Heavier stuff, not so much. Eh, you know? It's up to you. This is, you know, straight on. This is side to side. Uh, Napalm Strike. This, I haven't found too much success with. Uh, maybe in defense missions where you want to put the flames down. But again, anything that denies the enemy in a small space where you guys are fighting also denies your, your buddies. So in like a defense mission where it's just that one little circle and you got to kill 500 bugs or, or robots. I think that's on difficulty nine. You know, putting flames down cuts off a whole part of a really small map for them. It's it's hugely detrimental. It You know, yeah, you're cooking bugs, but you're cooking your teammates too and really limiting where they can go. And movement is everything in this game. So I would say this isn't very good. Even out in the open field, don't cook, just blow them up. You don't need to wait for shit to, you know. And, and it's something that has like an eight second, you know, respawn. This is kind of unnecessary. You know, if you're like, well, I want this down so as they come through it, they'll get cooked. Well, you're gonna have it in eight seconds. So just blow them up with that again. You know what I mean? Uh, with these, you get so many before it has to refuel four, three, five. And then after this, the Eagle's got to go back for two minutes. So you're out for two minutes, but you can put a lot of pain in quick. It's, it's a damage dump where this one is like steady damage. Always. This just recharges its shot from space. It's good to go. Um, okay. Jump pack. This is interesting. This is in the hangar and not actually a part of weapon, but it makes sense. Jump pack. I love this. A lot of people talk shit on it. Um, I think they have a right to, to some degree. It's, it, you know, unless you know how to use it, you'll be like, this thing fucking sucks ass. It's, it's not about getting to higher ground. It can, but where it really shines is being on high ground and then jumping off that. Also like uh, bunny hopping or, or leapfrogging charges is always a blast. You can land on things backs and, you know, blow them up and stuff. There's a really good video of a guy like jumping on the back of a bile Titan with an eat and just blowing a hole in its back. It's really cool. This is a great mobility tool. I use this often and a lot. I, I solo a lot, not uh, in queue, but like on my own kind of thing, I'll get objectives while other people are focused on other stuff. I just like to get things done and move in before the hordes really start building. And this allows me to do so. So I'll go off on my own. If I get to sticky situations, I, I just jetpack away from my problems, just like in real life, you know, Eagle smoke. <coughs> I tried this. It, it doesn't do this. Yeah, actually, that's a good example. They still fire through it. They still, you'll, you'll pop this. Like, cool. Disengage. And they'll just walk right. The, yeah, look, at he's getting blood. It, it's not good. This needs to disengage fully. It needs to reset the aggro, in my opinion, to be useful. Um, I get that this has 
We only have three uses on this before. Okay, yeah. Um, I tried this. I tried this with the orbital smoke, which I realized. Did I leave? Is that? Oh, it's in here. Oh, these are separate. Okay, sorry. Um, so I tried this with the other smoke. Didn't find much success. Brought in smoke grenades because I was told it would disengage and allow me to kind of keep doing my solo thing. Was not the case. This is not worthwhile in my opinion. Um, but I guess I'm more of a like, just blow it up. Don't hide from it. Just blow it up or move or run away. You know, I just thought this would help me run away more. It did not. That was not the case. So um, I wouldn't recommend this one. Rocket Pod's really good for uh, rocks. Here. I mean, uh, robots here. It does good damage to medium armor. Uh, eight seconds. You get three. There's probably some better stuff again. I would just take this. Just airstrike shit. Um, but this has a little niche. If things are bunched up where you got like a heavy, you know, robot, you can drop that down. It'll blow them up. Yeah. Okay, cool. This this is kind of a fun one. It's a big fucking nuke. Um, whether it's good or not, I'd probably put in like B or A tier or something like that. Uh, it's got its uses. Uh, you don't blow up this shit. So you can see that was kind of a waste. If you get it under a guy or an injured one, it'll blow them up, which is cool. Uh, you can clear shaft, but the, the actual damage radius, let's see if I can like kind of show you. It's really kind of like right in there. Outside of this, you won't, even on the outskirts, you won't see much damage. You really got to time this well or land it on something. It does have its purposes and it does clear out. And I do, I do like it. It's fucking cool. It's a nuke. But there are, I mean, if you're min-maxing, this isn't the best of the best. Uh, okay, bridge. Orbital strike. Really good. This is one of the first things you unlock, I think. Um, I've gone back to this just because, you know, it's a good catch-all. It's it's basically 100-second bomb, you know. Um, it's a three-second call-in, so it can be a little bit long. And on the ones that double that, it really starts to suffer, you know. When you get up to, like, six, and I want to say, like, some do, like, nine or something when they compound. Um, you're like, what the fuck? And by the time it lands, everything's gone. So be careful of that. Keep an eye on how long it takes stratums to go in. The precision strikes typically take a little bit. Not precision. The orbitals take a little bit longer, typically. Um, although this one is really good. So orbital gas strike. This will melt bugs. It will melt your teammates. It's good in defense. See all that? They get cooked and it also bypass armor. But more importantly, it's 75 seconds. That's a little over a minute. And these things, if you drop them in holes, will close them. So you got a minute respawning grenade here that will blow up holes. It's super useful. It's really good for area denial. You will fucking die if you go near this gas thing, though. This thing just shreds you. It's like... Sarin gas mis mixed with farts from, you know, 1975 that's been hidden in a bunker and they, they include it in this capsule and it blows up. This is just old man farts. It'll kill you. Uh, EMS strike. EMS is really good on the mortars. I'm not sure I would waste. I mean, it's every minute. That's pretty good. A little over. What is what is this? Uh, there's There's an argument for this. 75 seconds is pretty good, and, and it's good for giving you breathing room. This will affect your teammates, though, as well. You drop this in here, you're going to get slowed up. Again, anything that denies them also denies your teammates. you got to be careful where you're using this. That's why a lot of these, you know, unless you're solo, if you're solo, I would recommend this. If you're not, if you're running with the team, I don't think this is necessarily good. I think there's other things you can get. Orbital smoke strike, again, let me see how it shows on this. Still firing through it. Just wait. You pop this, you see this, they're all stationary because they're not walking. Wait until you're in a real game and they all just fucking emerge from the clouds and you're like, well, that was fucking useless. I guess I'll see you in 100 seconds. So uh, just experiment with yourself. I'd love it to work. Smoke's my jam. I would love to disengage and just, you know, move on, be more um, uh, efficient with my stuff because I'm on my own, but it won't let me. So this is cool. I've used this a lot. Um, it's a fun one. It's stationary. You got to be careful. You got to get to high ground, but it'll chop shit up. If your guys are getting pushed by a big horde, you throw this high as you're running, get on it and you can just melt everything. You just kill the, kill the waves outside of like heavy stuff, bile Titans, etc. I didn't try it on robots. I've only tried it on bugs. So, you know, maybe there's a, an application for it there, but it's good. I'd recommend it. So I haven't even seen it on robots. It, it's good enough to, to throw in. This is very niche. Uh, on the robot side, obviously, is about where it's useful. I can't tell if it has health. It has limited lifetime. I don't know if it's a timer, though, or if it's like it can absorb so much. If it's on a timer, I would say this is better. If it can absorb so much damage and then go, then I would say no. I dropped in at a defense mission with a bunch of robots where we had a bunch of, um, excuse me, mortars, uh, EMS mortars. And uh, I'm trying to think of the third thing. Where this was blocking us, it lasted a very short time. We both brought the shield. I came in late, saw that there was a shield. I brought one in too to kind of offset it. We tried to alternate. Doesn't work. Uh, this needs probably a little bit of buff to be cool and, and worth the slot. This will fucking wreck everything. I would recommend not taking this unless everyone on your team has that um, electrical kind of debuff, not debuff, the resistance to 95%. Um, this thing will chew. I mean, it's a, it's a huge Tesla rifle that just chains, but it does not discriminate. 
and it doesn't need an enemy to activate. This is like a proximity thing. So if you walk in here and there's no fucking bugs, you will get fried by this thing and it will destroy you. Not sure why it's like that. It, it definitely targets you, but maybe it's just a static field. And if you activate it, it boom, it shocks. Um, it's cool, but you have to, there's a lot of planning involved and a lot of planning with your teammates. And if you're solo using this, you're wasting it because why are you stationary? And if you're using it on a team, everyone's got to go, you know, Tesla Arma. If everyone does this, like four of these with four Tesla rifles, I could see that being pretty cool, actually. And it might fuck shit up. Um, okay, moving on to the engineering bay. Anti-personnel mine. This is cool. Throws a bunch of shit out. Kills your teammates. It's funny. You throw it on OBJs. Watch people kind of dart around, get blown up. It, it's pretty funny. It does do work um, for area denial. I will say if you it, they're packed in a little too tight sometimes or if people are shooting or throwing grenades in there, it'll blow up a mass of them and you'll lose a big part of your damage potential on this, which is um, kind of offset by this one. I'm just going to skip down to the incendiary mines. This is cool. Uh, uh, let me jump back quick. This is better for robots um and this one is probably better for bugs but you know robots are affected affected by flames this is good because even if these pop they'll leave some damage behind and if your whole idea is to area deny this and you're already denying your teammates anyways throw some flames down fuck it and let it cook you know um i don't know what it's it's bit like standard damage does i'd like to see that um shit my bad um but overall, I think I would prefer the flames on the bugs and the anti-personnel for the uh, for the robots. Uh, supply pack. This is useful on a team. That I you know I'm torn between it. There's certain weapons that you use with this where it will come in handy if you're just like a a gunfighter and you're in it. And you know you you can certainly supply your teammates, but you got to be careful. Some teammates just use shit up so fast, and you're like ready to resupply them. They're like, "Cool, you got more, right? Throw it to me." So be careful because it can kind of crutch them a little bit, and it keeps you out of fight a little bit. See, as you're like coming up to him, you're not shooting. You're going up and giving him ammo. But if you got a heavy gun or something that chews up ammo, having these four, you just keep reloading. That's pretty dope, and you can put a lot of damage down quick. It's that's a really long. Are they all four eighty? I guess they are, huh? Supplies are just 480, huh? Okay. Um, it, it's got its place. I think it's a team play. Uh, it doesn't require you to be stationary. You just got to run up, which is cool. Just like syringing someone. Uh, so I think that's really, really good. Um, but I, this isn't something typically I pick, but it's more because of my play style, not because it's a bad item. So you might like that. Grenade launcher, great for this. If you got missions where you got to close up holes or close up the um, the manufacturing kind of departments at Macy's that produce those uh, robot mannequins that come out in Tranquilia. These are really good for shooting down the the pooper uh, down the chute and blowing it up. Uh, I like this. Uh, you can put a lot of damage down. Things bounce around. You can get under bellies and stuff. Yeah, if you shoot under, they'll kind of bounce up. But they do good for spreading. It goes through ammo pretty quick. Um, you can fire it really fast, but it's got a specific job that, you know, with a jetpack, you come in there, you clear it, you get out. It's awesome. Laser cannon, pretty cool. Was the king, I think, before. Eh, it might still be up there before the Quasar dropped this thing. Um, laser cannon's got infinite ammo. Uh, it's a heavy weapon. It does shred robots. If you're in a defense mission, you get up on a cliff um, with a jetpack and you have one of these, you kind of got free damage at all times. Um, yeah, you see how slow it is on killing some of these? And it heats up pretty quick. But it's unlimited. It's a heavy weapon. Um, it's okay. It's it's not bad at all. Uh, I would take it, pick it up if, you know, nothing else. Uh, but I, I think there's probably better options now. Incendiary mines, I just went over. Bugs, really good for burning them out. Biological stuff. I think the robots, I don't know how much they take as far as fire damage. Um, I mean, thematically, I would guess very little. But you never know. I don't use these very much. I have. And I've seen them in action. They're very good. Guard dogs are awesome for clearing chaffs. You can handle the mid to large side stuff. It can chop you a little bit with the head. Um, the laser one is preferable to the, uh, where's the other one? Is the other one not in here? Is it in a separate one? That's weird that this, oh, it's in the robotic. Why is that one in, and this one's in robotics? Okay, whatever. Um, this is the better of the two rovers laser. It's it's good DPS. It's it's putting it down at all times. I don't know if it's because it's the reheat uh, mechanic. Eventually, it's got to come back and recharge on your back. But it seems to perform better than this one, which is the machine gun. And maybe it's because once that's out of ammo, it's got to come back and reload. I'm not really sure. But I have noticed that people are like, nah, this sucks. And that would be my guess uh, between the two. But don't quote me on that one. I don't run it enough. Um, seems to do okay. But again, you'd see more people running it. This is superior, and you can kind of see why. It does a lot. It might not have to reload until it overheats. So until you're in a really big engagement, it might not ever have to go back because it auto you know, cools down. Uh, ballistic Shield, this is what it's for. Uh, it is pretty much useless against bugs. It's very niche, I would say. Because of that, it's pretty shit. Um, this is cool. 
you can you can bring your SMG with it and aim down sights, and you actually have a little sight through the visor when you do that, your laser and stuff. However, it's fucking useless at higher difficulties with rocket salvos. That does not block these guys with the shoulder mounted. So as soon as you get in your first real engagement or the first real drop, this becomes super useless. There's a bunch of stuff if you pick up, it drops on the ground uh inexplicably i don't know why but you'll have to go back for it a lot and you also get the t pose on this a lot and it's probably because people don't use it that often it is cool it's nice running up to these robots and bullying them but it only works again on the small to medium enemies the specialist enemies will fuck you up it's useless they'll bomb your feet out you'll die in a single salvo it's you're like why the fuck did i bring this i should have just bought a bubble and that's that's pretty much why this is superior um, it's cool though. You know, when you push up on a bunch and you bully, it's neat, you know, whatever. Arc thrower just got fixed as of uh, you know, 328, 24 right now. It's it's doing what it's intended. For a while there, I think there was some kind of stack overflow with it where you would get, you know, people were coming out with like 106% accuracy. And it's because it jumps and you're getting hit, 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 hit for one shot. So it's actually exceeding that accuracy. I don't know if that's a reason to crash. But people were like, yeah, anything involving this and the Tesla Tower were crashing games or, or soft locking you so you can get in the next one and it would crash it. It's fucking awesome. It darts around. It gets like heavy armor. You can like bully um, uh, chargers. You can even hit bile titans, do damage, blow off pieces of their armor. It, it explodes stuff. It's fucking cool. Look at the headshot there. It just blows it up. Um, you can put consistent damage down on this. It's a really solid weapon. It's also a team killer. Anything in front of you, you can't have like a teammate here. Here, they got to be here or here, or you got to shoot into the sky. As soon as it's charged up, there's no cancel. You got to like lift it up, blast it so you don't kill your teammate, or hope they have that 95% <coughs> electrocution reduction. Um, this is the newest Quasar Cannon. This is fucking cool, dude. It's got a charge up and boo, just blow shit up. You can get two shots off it before it overheats like in a row. I haven't done that yet. <coughs> I'll have to experiment. You got to hit him right in his like head slot, unless he's just a two shot in general this is cool though really really like it. it's it got a cool down take your shot put it on your back take your primary out let it cool down take it out for you know heavy uh heavy problems this is the better version of the ballistic shield i hope this thing gets some uh, tlc at some point this is just better it blocks laser blast it blocks you know you can tank a hit that would have one shot you with light armor it recharges after it goes out it's just good uh, yeah look at that that took a rock dude that's crazy and lets him reply so normally you don't have a chance, you know, you're, you're blown up. You're like, ah, oh, shit, there's a rocket guy there here. Blows up your shield. You turn around, you shoot while it's reloading. It's awesome. It's a really good uh, item. I would recommend it highly. Um, let's see here. Machine gun sentry. Good for chaff. I would say if you're, if you're highly specialized with your weapons, maybe this is useful, useful, but you know, you're clearing chaff here. Is it long? Yeah. It's the same time as this. So I don't know, you know, maybe it's a multi-compartmentalized. You can get, a bunch of these and just kind of i have done like a tower defense with four of these before and it's fucking cool and nothing can push up the hill on you it's awesome but these run out of ammo so again these aren't like infinite i would say this isn't very useful the gatling a little bit sprays a little bit more puts a little more down uh down range this seems to individually single to yeah, i don't know these are both okay but it's a chaff clear and i feel like that's what you should be able to do if you can't clear chaff with your basic weapons i i don't know what you brought um there should be something in there for dealing with people swarming you i mean it's a literal swarm you're dealing with mortar sentry really good for damage really good for damage on your teammates um you will this will either carry you and some of those defense missions if you guys are well situated and in like a an established like defensive posture or position somewhere this thing will fucking rain hell down and you will get a shit ton of kills however as soon as anyone closes the gap if you don't clear chaff before they get up this becomes one of your most dangerous enemies and it'll blow up your whole fucking team and everyone will get mad at you so it's very niche you gotta you gotta put it in the right spot and you also gotta hide it either hide it in a little dip hide it behind a wall this thing fires upwards so don't leave it out in the open this is i mean he put it behind a rock this is a good example of kind of how to do that good weapon it's just you got to be careful it's like a lot of you know the drops up here like yeah these are good but like you know fucking watch out if your teammates around this is actually really bad example this, yeah, fuck it you know what I'm talking about. It's uh, all right. that big radius one. Um, the guard dog. This is the the assault rifle one that I hear not good things about. Um, probably because it does have to reload. I would say between the two, you know what to go with. Laser. This is kind of just a wasted slot. Auto cannon. This shreds armor. This pops heads. It's really good. Um, Got to be careful. This thing will fuck up your teammates. Uh, if you know this guy dies and your teammates here. 
and there's something over here, it'll start scanning and then it might fire and blow his head off. But this thing, this thing will put shit down on Bile Titans. It's a good turret to throw down. Um, I like it a lot. Rockets are good. Um, I've used them on bugs. It pops them pretty good. Looks like it, here it's kind of, eh, it's fucking those robots up. So maybe that's more for that. The explosive ordinance breaking through that armor. Really, really good. This is probably your S tier out of all of them. This won't kill your teammates, but look at it. It just fucking shuts robots down. Area denial and defense missions. This is sweet as hell. Um, this I would categorize in the same category as this. This is a problem solver for singular targets. This is a problem solver for a swarm. You get in this thing, you can clear, if you guys are overwhelmed, bring this in, you'll fucking clear, you just keep on the right trigger or right mouse button or whatever your equivalent is on your controller and your left on rockets and just know that it's slightly offset. It used to be straight on, but now the mech walks about here. And so your reticle is here. It's probably like closer to here. But your reticle is here, but your rockets, it's so you don't blow yourself up. But you got to be careful with the aiming. You almost have to like wanted bullet it um, into them sometimes. So just be, you'll learn the angle. And once you get it, it's a little good, but you kind of got to maneuver a little bit. You can't go straight on. It, it's hard to explain. But basically, yeah, that kind of, you know, you got to get it at an angle. And once you get it, you'll get it. Um, I would say that's it. Let me just make sure there's nothing else. Modules. Is there anything in here? I could go through these real quick. Um, this is good. Deploy with maximum number of carryable magazines. Really good. Uh, support rep weapon stratagem at eh, 10%. I mean, you're, you're saving some seconds. Not as important as getting to the, uh, final decrease cooldown for all backpack stratagem. So you're talking guard dogs, you're talking jet packs, you're talking ballistic shield. You're talking, well, not ballistic shield, the, um, the energy shield, I think. Yeah, shield generator. Anything that gets that back in the game isn't just good for you. It's good for your entire team. Um, bring that in. You know, if, if you got one, throw it down. Anytime that's up, just throw it down. Someone can grab it, you know. Um, okay, reduces damage fall off. I haven't seen this significantly affect any of the bombs I've dropped. I, I hope that it, like anything in that radius was going to hit it, but it must take like a less percentage debuff, you know, moving away from the circle and concentric, you know, less and less damage. Uh, it's fine, but, you know, this really fucking good. More guns and additional salvo is crazy on these, especially, um, let's see here. Yeah, the 120, it just continues on. One more volley, it, it can it can add up. It really can. Orbital stratagem cooldown time reduced by 10%. These can be pretty long, so this is actually more significant. Zero G uh, breach loading. Plus, you get all these cool guns on the front of your ship. Hangar, e this is humongous. E Eagle stratagem cooldown reduced by half. That's nuts. Um, so, uh, granted... Some of them like eight seconds, so they go down to four, but in the heat of battle, throwing out as much damage as you can and clearing can save your entire team. So timing is everything. Uh, this is really good. Eagle rearm time by 20%. It's normally, I think, three minutes or something. That can drop it down significantly. Um, and eagle stratagem uses by rearm, so that's nuts. You get an additional one. This is one of the best upgrades in the hangar. I would probably say do this one first before any others. Um, okay, targeting software reduces deployment time for orbital stratagems by one. Eh, you know, most of them come back pretty quick. An extra second isn't a big deal in this case, even though I kind of uh, was telling you that it, it was much more important in the heat of battle. These are so, it's just not. It, it's fine. Don't don't worry about that. It's to get down further. Uh, increased enemy ping radius on minimap. This is more or less useless. It's cool seeing enemies, but you'll see them with your eyes before you see them on the map sometimes, unless you're going far off with that uh, armor that allows you to kind of ping or gives like a every two second ping. But even then, it's like, uh, what's the point? This is where you want to go. Improved steering for hell divers during hell, po uh, hell pod deployment. This is awesome, dude. This will get you anywhere you need to go. This will let you land on vile titans. This will let you land on heavy armor. This will land you uh, behind enemy lines or in front of them or way back behind your teammates because you need to get... This gives you a lot of options, and options are always good in combat and in battle. So uh, this, highly recommend. Engineering Bay, reduce cooldown time for uh, sentry emplacement. Resupply strategies by 10%. Eh. It's whatever, and, you know, any cooldown is cool. Increases health. This is good. This will take another uh, hit or two from some enemies that get close. You can clear the chaff and let it continue to do its thing. It's not wasted then. So this will save your bacon sometimes. Uh, removes deployment time for emplacement stratagems. I, haven't, I, I thought this would, like, instantaneously bring it down. They do come down really fast, but it still takes a few seconds. I thought you drop it, and it would just pop right in with this. That is not the case. It must reduce it in some way, unless I'm reading it wrong. Same with these, you'll see. Reduce stratagem deployment for all sentry stratagems. Oh, okay, so it's it's the same for... Yeah, these still take some time, so I'm not sure. Same with these. Uh, reduces... This says reduce. It doesn't say remove. So that's this is more accurate to what actually happens. Um, these come in pretty quick, though. Uh, increased ammo, that's good. These run out fairly quick, especially the Gatling stuff, the stuff that fires off a lot. Um, rocket sentries go pretty quick, too. 
this is this will cook this really spins it it greases the wheels and uh it gets going i, I really like these so um uh, those are the stratagems i would recommend and the uh, ship modules to kind of focus on also first chance you get turned into the princess of battle so people respect you know what's up know learn to kind of fear your name um but if you guys have any other questions or uh you're curious about any of the other things i've i've used most of these pretty extensively if i haven't brought them in myself i used them from other people who brought them in or died um, I, I focus more on trying to stay up and do OBJs. So I'm normally the one with the uh, samples and picking up the people's stuff that they drop. Um, and that's been kind of my experience with these. If you have any uh, differences of opinion, you are wrong. There's only one opinion and it is mine and it is correct. And remember that for always, okay? Um, obviously, kidding. Everyone's got a uh, different preference on these things. So if, if you figured out a way to make it work and you're like, oh, you know what? You're right. I thought it sucked. Like uh, E2Q Lornick just mentioned the smoke. He's like, actually, I use the smoke grenades and I've been pretty successful with them. So that means I'm using them wrong. I, I must be. Um, I, I really tried to. It wasn't like, eh, I used them once. I really tried like three missions. I'm like, this, what the fuck? And then I used them against bugs and they didn't do shit either. So it, it, it's probably user error on my part. Um, but this is open to interpretation. This is what I found. And also this is as of uh, 32824. All this could change. So this, uh, for now, this is what I found. And uh, hopefully you find, find it useful.